Hello everyone, I'm Shannon Slatten in Golden Valley. Every day our news team is out in your community turning stories about the place where you call home. Here's a look at a few of those stories making the news today. The Maple Grove Fire Department is one of the largest in the Northwest Metro. They have five stations and more than 95 men and women serving their community. But now some longtime firefighters are retiring. And I just recently had five firefighters who retired with between 24 and 26 and a half years with the fire department. Fire Chief Tim Bush says the fire department will miss their experience. Four of them retired on the 30th of, of September and one's retiring the 16th of this month. Uh, that's 125 years of service walking out the door. The fire chief says the department anticipated the retirements and doesn't think it will have a hard time with filling the gap because Maple Grove actively recruits on a yearly basis. We've been very successful in finding residents who, citizens who live in the city, who want to serve the city. Uh, joining the fire department's a great way to give back to your community. Fighting fires is no easy job. Firefighters dedicate their lives to protecting people and property. Prospective candidates undergo a physical and ability test to see if they can handle the job. Paid on-call firefighters work around the clock. There can be additional stressors. Uh, you, you spend time away from your family. You know, we're, we're serving the community, so we want to make sure that, that when we hire people that they're the right fit for the positions. Sonia Goins, CCX News. Hi, Mr. Sykes, we're three. Birchview is a small-knit, tight community. You could have gotten it! The start of a new school year is always a momentous occasion. It was super exciting to get kids back. Even in a year when school isn't exactly normal. With COVID-19 and the switch to hybrid learning, most of the kids at Birchview Elementary in Plymouth are only in the building twice a week. The kids are adjusting really well to those new normal routines. They're doing their best to keep each other safe and healthy. Our staff is doing a good job to just keep it fun and exciting for kids, even with the new regulations. Um, and every day at Birchview is a great day. But there's more to celebrate here than the fact that students have returned to campus. I had the opportunity to go with classes and tell them like, this is a big year to be a Birchview student. And they were like, why? And I said, because it's our 50th birthday. <laughs> this year is Birchview's 50th anniversary of serving students in the Wyzetta School District. This one is 1979 and 80. To commemorate the milestone, the district has dug up old photos and other memorabilia from the past five decades. And I had a real lot of fun reading this. This was the first newsletter sent out to families on September 8, 1970, welcoming the kids to school. Back then, a student lunch cost 35 cents, while milk was only 7 cents. It's just one of the many ways things have changed over the years. You'll see smart boards in our classrooms. 50 years ago, you probably saw chalkboards. Um, you'll see all the iPads. Every kid has their own iPad. 50 years ago, they were probably using their notebooks and typewriters and all that stuff. Yet as the school celebrates its 50th year, Principal Ashley Farrington is celebrating a milestone of his own. I am why that a true and true. I started my career here and I hope to end it here as well. This is his first year as an elementary school principal. Who would have signed up to be a principal in the middle of a pandemic? Taking on that role during a pandemic is something that some people might shy away from. But Farrington says he's ready for the challenge. Together we'll work on improving our school and making sure we're doing excellent work for our kids every day that we show up. Whether the 420 kids enrolled at Birchview can return to full-time in-person learning this year remains to be seen. But at the very least, they'd like to properly commemorate 50 years of history. The hope is that later this spring, it'll be safe enough to invite Birchview alumni to campus for a big party to celebrate the school's 50th anniversary. In Plymouth, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Yeah, everybody help out. <laughs> it's, it's a family thing. Panya Yang has been running the Brooklyn Center Farmer's Market for the last four years. You know, you got to talk to people when they buy, like, every, everybody buy different fruit, type of produce, right? And then I saw some stuff that even I don't normally eat, right? Because they're just so popular, right, to a certain community. And then when they buy it, and then I would just ask them questions. Right? I'm curious, why do you buy so much of this one thing, right? No matter what you find at the market, it will be extremely fresh. We were just driving by, and she said, oh, we should stop here and just look. It's pretty nice. And actually, I usually get some grains, 
and bitter bar, and usually get some American corn. I, I love the corn and all that stuff. So. This is my very first year here. Young said the flow of shoppers is moderate but steady. Right now, you know, I have tomatoes, carrots, cilantro beets, um, flowers. All my flowers are gone. <laughs> Panya's family is from Thailand. They grow much of their own vegetables and often have lots extra to bring to the market. When other people buy from us too, we, it makes us happy too. We grow locally, right? Everybody like local food. Uh -huh. So we just want to help out as much as we can too. The market is conveniently located in the Methodist Church parking lot off Brooklyn Boulevard. Panya says they'll be out every Thursday until it gets really cold or snows. In Brooklyn Center, Neil Persley, CCX News.